Now, the bounce of a cricket ball is tested before it is used. Go back to the with the cricket ball. Before we say this about time, but test it bounce here. We may shy it will and to to bounce. We shall be a now come back on. You go look at Lavantu about my night club party. I'm 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 a bouncers. Because you um shy says for being best of William or to tank and shy say in this world. We go back by my bouncers. You bounce as for being some egg when you bounce on the nest for a woman or as of shy such a well in a pan. The pan and your belt one at a time in Kunzili. You go back to my bouncer. So now the, t- the standard test, Ngendelabai test and I cricket, is to drop a ball from a certain height, by tetele from a certain height, onto a hard surface, and then measure how high it bounces. By tetele, it's shy pants, we say, on a hard surface, it cricket. We say, Yambuya, we say, Akala Guti, Ibuya Ifira, to which height. During such a test, a cricket ball of 0.5 kg is dropped from rest. Okay. Mass 0.15 kg is dropped initial zero. Is dropped from rest from a certain height. And it strikes the floor at a speed of it strikes the floor velocity if you are of 6,2 meters per second. It strikes the floor at a speed of 6,2. The ball bounces straight upwards at a velocity of isuga. Ishayala. Besa isuga iepezu. After the if figure is 6,2, as it's downwards, it's positive. And then it bounces straight upwards. Oh, but wait. Straight upwards. Where are we? Bounces straight upwards at the velocity of 3,62. Velocity of... Now, if we are here, we are here. If velocity is too it's minus 3,62. 3,62 meters. I think Sally saying it at a limit. She has many young yoga. Because yoga no sugar and I young kid to move up here and I'm getting in the Janina. Yan yoga is a velocity of 3,62 meters per second to a height delta y. The height of corner is 0,65 meters. Okay. Says it's just the leg in this man. Hmm. As pendulum. The effects of air friction may be ignored. Let us ignore the effects of friction. Ogushibu to G is plus 9,8 meters per second squared. Nala Uchi plus 9,8 meters per second squared. We ignore the effects of friction. Right. Sabatila, define the term impulse in weights. Impulse. Impulse is how hard and for how long uh, does an object uh, strike another object? How hard and for how long? Since you sell up now, F is equal to ME. But acceleration delta v over delta t acceleration is the rate at which velocity changes then we therefore lines we say f it's m and then a city delta v over delta t what is m delta v change in momentum over change in time it's the force this is what now f delta t is equal to change in momentum. So what is this? The impulse. How hard and for how long? How uh, the impulse is the same as the change in momentum. So you can define an impulse as a change in momentum. 
Says here, I'm going 4.2. Calculate the magnitude of impulse of the net force applied to the pole during the collision with the flow. The magnitude of the impulse of the net force applied to the pole. So impulse, impulse is change in momentum. What is change in momentum? M into Vf minus Vi. What is the mass of that object? Is 0 0.15. Final velocity. Oh. Is she figure a hammer was six comma two at the end? Say she is well up to pants. Ya suga if I na le le if figure a hammer le ya suga say hammer le is suga so go minus minus three comma six two minus into initial if figure a hammer velocity kagana plus. 6,2. So what do we have? 0, 0,15 minus 3,62 minus 6,2. So it's 0, 0,15 minus 9,8. I see boy. We have point one five nine comma eight two, which is minus minus one comma four seven three. One comma four seven three Newton second. So that is impacts. So this is a tolage, uguti leo, okay. So let's get to meet the required, to meet the requirements of the cricket ball. To meet the requirements, a cricket ball must bound to one third of the height that it was initially dropped from. Must bound to one third. Oh, the Simon would like cricket ball. Have you any fake? You know, more it that the lies to the corner. Make sure your pants. The height of corner should be a third of what is to get him bang. He'll have to test and I to fake it. Oh, you know, no. So, let's get to meet the requirements of a cricket ball. Uh, a cricket ball must bounce to one third of the height that is initially dropped from. Use energy principle to determine whether this ball meets the minimum requirements. Energy principle. Oh, but wait. I guess more what is potential energy before before it is dropped. What is potential? It's mg delta y. I guess tell you what thing I'm going to tell you why we do now. So if you're not high, I'm still high to pass. So it's all I can do now. So it's delta y. So inside the equation. Vf squared is equal to Vi squared plus oh since then some in the equation of motion instead of the energy principle. Let me use energy principle. The energy, the potential energy at the bottom or at the high at the top. Potential energy at the top is equal to kinetic energy at the bottom. What is potential energy at the top? It's kinetic energy is half mv squared. Half of 1,5 times 
the velocity of figure ngayo is 6,2 all square. This is E4 pounds. E4 E pounds. So 6,2 squared. Um, what is half of 1,5? 0 0,75 or something about. 6,2 squared times 0.75. Okay, you told us 28,83 joules. Now, saying here, you told us the potential energy at the top. What about the height? Leo height in Gagana and height to Sugala Figala. Energy principle Mg delta y. So potential energy over Mg is equal to delta y. 28,83 over 0, 0,15 times 9,8 delta y. A C board. 0, 0,15 times 9,8. Okay. One. 28,83 divided by 1,87. 15.8. Four two. Delta Y is fifteen comma four two meters. Delta Y is fifteen comma four two meters. One comma eight seven. Right. So we have this. Oh. Now can we calculate it wrong? I said one comma four seven. Twenty-eight comma eight oh nine comma eight times point one five. One comma four seven, yes. Twenty-eight comma eight three divided by one comma four seven. I get 19, 1, 4, 7, 19, 1, yeah. So to y as 19,61 meters. Now, I guess one of does it meet um, the requirements? Is it fake or not? I guess check uh, what is a, a third? But it must bound to one third of that height. What is a third here? A third of 19,61, which means it's 19,61 divided by 3. 19,61 divided by 3, which is 6,53, which is 6,5. Three meters. But now, the height is how much? The height is corner, which is zero comma six five. Now, now, the six comma five three. So it does not meet the requirements. So it's not a third yakona, in fact the third yakona, it's zero comma, it's six comma five three instead of zero comma six five. So we have we have that zero comma dent. So we have uh, right. Okay. Mm. Divide by three, six comma five three. Yeah. 
So it does not meet the requirement. Le leli kaluf leli li feit li li chige gute le intans kuni guti li shay li 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 shay itet itet yala six point five three. So this is how how it goes. Basically, kubam nandi we kabule we chabulele ube u mawaz nani we kabula we kabula ngazo kutumlo muzo chiga we epi muzo we kabula. So okay, this is how it goes. Since of kubay again this nyeze ibalo zama past examination questions especially Mrs. Sugala Panago 2018 up to 2021 so so a sense of questions and jalo